Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, it's so bright. It's so bright. I don't even think it can white balance this. Nope. <laughs> oh gosh. There we go. The sun is going down, guys, and it does look beautiful out there. This is the first time today I am picking up the camera. Let's get a little bit more light on my face. Yeah, it's the first time for today because uh, it has just been kind of a crazy, weird day. We were supposed to submit our application in on that house today. The reason that we didn't submit our application yet is because we're just not totally sure yet about some things. And we're trying to get that wrapped up. We're trying to figure all that stuff out. And in doing it, it's like, could we... I don't know, like, I want to submit my application for this house, but at the same time, like, it costs $30 for every person who is on the application who's not under 18, which that would mean that it would be $60 for me and Anna both to submit our application to this, and everything is not nailed down yet, so I don't want to submit my application yet. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait. Other than that, uh, work was good. Anna's been packing some stuff. I'm about to go help her pack because I have not pulled my weight as far as the packing goes in the past, and I don't want to repeat that this time. So I was working and stuff, so that's what. Any, anyway, I'm just gonna go pack. So this is sort of fun. Um, these boxes that we've got from Home Depot, Home Depot, they do not have a hole in them. We actually, for handles, we actually like Lowe's boxes better because they come with a pre-cut hole in them for grabbing easiness. And unfortunately, these do not have that, but they're like $3 or $2 cheaper or something. So guess what? Just gonna make a hole. That's right. You know what? That works. You can grab that. Oops. Cutting towards you is always very safe. I'm kidding. Don't cut towards yourself. It works. Besides that little part. Come on. You knew that shot was coming. Uh, the question for that shot is, what am I packing? The answer, clothes. One of the major things that is in this room that also causes some chaos in this room, this room being our bedroom, is clothing. And I have a ton of it, and a lot of it doesn't even fit me anymore. So I'm just gonna go through crap, and I'm gonna put it in a box, and you know what? I may even get rid of some of it because, you know what? I'm losing weight, and it's an awesome thing, but it's also causing some, like, craziness with not being able to fit in clothes. Like, the other day, I wore a shirt out, and I realized I could, like, tuck my knees up in to it like in a little ball. I'm a big guy and I see like petite girls do that with like sweaters and stuff. Like big guy, you should, I, I've never been able to do, I'm just, I need to get rid of some things is what I'm saying. Like they just don't fit me like they used to anymore. And that's a good thing, but it's also weird to me. Anyway, I'm gonna pack now. It was like the first piece of clothing I pulled out of the closet to pack and I decided, oh, let's see if I can wear that. And that sets the tone for what the next hour and a half or two hours is gonna be. It's not gonna be me packing or deciding to get rid of clothes. It's gonna be me saying, what do I look like wearing that now? Because I'm not used to that anymore. So anyway, this shirt right here, I, when did we buy this? What was this? Okay, we were in St. Augustine and we bought this shirt, apparently. Orlando, okay. Well, either way, we were, it was on our little summer getaway trip and it was too tight then, like it, it did not fit me well, even though it, it, it fit okay. Now it fits well and I have declared it wearable. That was a lot less satisfying than the first time I did it. I was hoping I could re-stick it on there, but, and it make like the same satisfying sound, but apparently it doesn't. That was a little better. I can, however, pull the tag off. How exciting is this? Ah! Yes, goodbye tag. Hello, new shirt. It is a brand new day with a brand new shirt. Exciting fingers. Hello, Roland. <laughs> How are you doing? What are you sniffing? You wanna oh, I am so sorry. I just shoved that up his nose. I just meant for you to sniff the tag, you know? Oh, someone's jealous. Someone is jealous. She wants in on the sniffing of the tag action. It's nothing, Rue. Oh. <laughs> Little fun side note, she hates the smell of adhesive, so the stickiness on there she probably does not like. Tape, she hates it, as most cats do. Okay, so I want to show you what I did. Look at this. This is my closet. I don't think I've ever vlogged my closet here, but 
it used to be full of clothes. Like these clothes didn't even have room to breathe and move around. So now I've got these clothes and then like some jackets and stuff back there that I'm leaving out until we move. So I've got some options, but way less than I had. There's some clothes, heavy jackets down there and including a princess dress that Anna had. I don't know, but sure. And look at this. This is a large box that is full of my clothing. See how big it is? Yeah. I have shirts still right there, but like this usually is full. I have way too many clothes, by the way. And shorts, which eventually those will be empty because it'll be too cold. Oh, and also this. These clothes right here, this bag and that bag, those are clothes I am getting rid of and donating. You know, I just, I have too many clothes. So I'm getting rid of those. Anna also has her own bag she's getting rid of. I feel like this is a pretty successful endeavor, you know? We set out to pack up some clothes. I packed up like a large portion of my clothes. I would say at least half of them. I would say at least half of them, if not a little bit more. Of course, I also donated a good bit, so. They were just too big, or I never wore them, didn't like them anymore, or they just did not flatter me. So, it was pretty exciting. It's coming along, the apartment is looking empty, and we haven't decided what to do about that application yet. We actually looked at some other places tonight, and honestly, we looked at some apartments too. We're just keeping our options open. I feel like it's a good plan to go into this flexible. So, do we have less than a month to find a place to live? Yes. Is that scary? Yeah, a little bit. But you know, we're trusting in God and we know that God is going to open doors and shut other doors and he's not gonna allow us to be homeless. I know that much right now. We have options. We know that we can probably go to any apartment and within a week be in that apartment. Not any apartment, but there are apartments we could be in is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we're not worried. You know, like if God wants us in a house, we're gonna be in a house. If God wants us in an apartment, we're gonna be in an apartment. It doesn't matter to us. We just know that as long as we have each other and we're trusting in God, it's gonna be fine. So, we're not too worried. Hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. We will talk to you guys very soon. We love you guys. God bless.